Hey guys, Review Detective here. Having removed the headphone jacks from its more recent iPhones, it's easy to see that Apple is pushing more and more towards a wireless future. And although no wireless earphones are bundled with the iPhone, Apple now offers not just one, but six different models of wireless headphones and earphones, most of which are sold under the Beats brand except for the AirPods. Offered as a slightly cheaper alternative to the AirPods, the Beats X retail for 149 US dollars or 179 Canadian dollars. And although they are classified as wireless, there still is a wire connecting the two earphones, unlike the AirPods, which are completely wireless. Keeping the wire, however, allows for certain advantages, such as having more convenient buttons for volume and other controls. In addition, Apple has placed the two batteries along the cord. On one side, we find the charging plug, which works with a lightning cable, and on the other side is located the power slash pairing button. The earphones sit comfortably around the neck and although at first the way the cable sits felt weird, I have gotten used to it pretty quickly and don't even notice it anymore. Once you're done listening, the earphones snap to each other to remain securely on your neck. A small rubber pouch is included in the box which works well for storing the earphones. In addition, the earphones come with a choice of different size rubber tips which can easily be exchanged for the best fit. One of the best features of the Beats X is Apple's W1 chip. In case you're not familiar, the chip allows for a seamless connection with your iPhone and connecting the earphones is as simple as turning them on and pressing the connect button on your phone. Once connected, the earphones are automatically paired with all Apple devices connected to the same account. Regarding sound quality, the Beats X deliver an overall balanced sound without the overly heavy bass of some of the other Beats headphones. I enjoyed listening to music for hours at a time without feeling discomfort or the need to take them off. In addition, the noise isolating feature of the earphones does a pretty good job at blocking outside sounds. As for the battery, I was able to get around 7 to 8 hours of listening time and if your battery dies, only 5 minutes of charging will provide you with 2 hours of listening time, which is great if you forgot to charge the earphones and only have a few minutes before you have to leave. So thanks for watching guys, I hope this review was helpful for making your purchase decision. Feel free to leave a thumbs up or down, subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions or feedback for us. Review Detective, out.